to Winston Salem and a lot of questions after police arrested a Winston Salem State University student in class. They say that student got into an argument with the professor and refused to leave. But other students who were there told reporter Sydney Moore, that's not the whole story. Tajamira Russell and Daisy Ayana, two Winston-Salem State University sophomores, say they were in class Wednesday to present group presentations. Then they say a classmate, Layla Hamoud, and the professor got into an argument. She's like, did you see what I said about your paper? Layla's like, I did. Did you see what I said? And Layla basically told her, like, she didn't agree with what she said. She did not have time to rewrite the paper. That's when students say things got heated between the two. The teacher started yelling at her, telling her how it's her class. Layla did get loud back. Another faculty member heard the conflict and called campus police. The officer came in to speak with the two. Students say the professor insisted the police officer pull Hamoud out of class. The cop and professor then went to the hallway to talk and came back with a second officer. He is listening to them, you know, converse or whatever. The teacher is at this point going back and forth with Layla again. Students say the fighting continued with both wanting apologies. At this point, the officer starts to arrest her. It was just a verbal argument that got out of hand. The university chancellor sent this statement in part, we understand that the weaponization of police is a prevalent problem in our community. However, that is not what happened in this incident. We strive for a safe, inclusive, thriving, and intellectual community. The students say they were disappointed by the way things played out. I wanted to arrest her, it's just like, you see this on the news all the time. So it's like to see it happening in your classroom is like really disappointing. Sydney Moore reporting once again. The communication director for the university says all the school's rules for classroom management were followed in this case, but they do continue to review the incident. That student will be in court next month.